Welcome back, builders, to Greenborn Zoo at Buddha Builds, episode 13. And yes, it has been six full weeks since the last Greenborn Zoo episode. I am glad to be back. This particular episode, as in episode 13, is one which I recorded before my computer gave me the middle finger, and I made this habitat shortly after I watched the traversable like tutorial by Rudy Kamel, and I really hope I am pronouncing it right. That tutorial, which I of course will link down below, was so informative, it really changed the way I built this habitat. Of course, I've made quite a few monkey-related habitats before. Um, actually, I think I did most monkeys at least once, because they are a very interesting animal, they are interesting to build a habitat for. But up until now, I never really considered how the animals moved through the habitat. And watching the tutorial made by Rudy, I realized I had to change the way I built it. In hindsight, uh, something I didn't do quite right yet is this habitat is way too big. I made this habitat for the, let's look it up because I keep forgetting the name, Colombian white-faced capuchin monkey. I'm gonna call it cute white monkey from now on. Way, way shorter, way easier to remember. So I made this habitat for the cute white monkey and I forgot, well not really forgot, I underestimated how little space this animal needs. 210 square meters uh, plus 8 square meters per additional animal and I think this habitat, I don't know, I could have cut the size by a third easy which would have meant that uh, the monkey would have been a bit more visible for the visitors and it also would have allowed me to steer the movement of the monkeys through the habitat a little bit better. So even though my mantra tends to be there is no such thing as a too large habitat, this habitat might kind of have broken that rule. That said, the size did allow me to do a few interesting things. I like the way the like vine roof uh, over the path turned out. I like all the info boards. They are interesting. Almost every single one of them is different, which I like. It is really that kind of detailing which brings your zoo to life. I mean, I don't mind uh, duplicating uh, signs. I think I did it at least once for this habitat. I've done it for the flamingo habitat as well. But to me, how often does it happen that... I mean, zoo info boards are identical. Uh, I mean, yeah, maybe maybe it does happen. But it, it your zoo, or at least my zoo... To me, looks more interesting the more variation there is in the build, the more detailing there is. Once again, the devil is in the details. The um, what? Yeah, like tiny sleeping caves uh, didn't. They look the way I intended, but after I built this habitat, uh, in order to see whether I really implemented the learnings from the tutorial by Rudy the way I should have, I played this habitat for a bit, I observed the monkeys, and it turns out that they are not really using the sleep caves, which is a bit of a pity because that was one of the defining features of this build. The first was, of course, the uh, vine roof over the path, and the second was basically the climbing area. It, uh, sorry, the third was the climbing area itself. I think making the habitat smaller would have fixed that. Uh, I think the monkeys would have been forced to use the sleeping caves a little bit more if the habitat had been a bit smaller. I also tried adding more monkeys to the habitat. Unfortunately, they kept dying, as in... Yes, they were breeding, but they were dying faster than they were breeding. At some point, in like three in-game years, I added like 40 monkeys, but like five years later, there were 20 monkeys left. 
So I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe that was a bug. This animal was new. It came with the South... Uh, I was about to say South African. I meant South American DLC. So maybe there was a bug there. I don't know. But that was a bit of a pity. So the tip takeaways from this speed build is I can definitely recommend the traversion tutorial by Rudy Kamel. Yes, habitats can be too big, which is the first time I had that happen. And I like monkeys. I like, I really enjoyed building the climbing area in this habitat more than I did up until now. I hope you like it. I hope you got some new ideas for your habitats. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to post as per usual and enjoy the speed build.
Hum.